Info here. So I recorded a series called Do What Works Best for Your Hair with Precious Smith of Precious Fro Travel. And I wanted to come on and give some context about the series. So we opened up the series by saying, what does that phrase mean to us? Do what works best for your hair. And Precious said that for her, it, I'm paraphrasing, means not you know changing your routine according to societal standards that weren't intended for us in the first place or her in the first place or someone with tight curls or societal standards that aren't helpful or are oppressive. And I said doing what works best for your hair is finding a pattern, a style of hair care uh, um, that's popular among us as people of African descent, popular because it is considered useful, settling down with that pattern and aligning with the tenets of that pattern um, or tenets of that pattern as opposed to believing that there are just a whole bunch of random rules. There are different styles of hair care. You can select one that best suits you in your lifestyle. Neither one of us said that do what works best for your hair means anything goes. I understand that the phrase do what works best for your hair here in black hair care land or among people with uh, hair of African descent is often used to dismiss any discussions of possible things that are advancements uh, and advancements are, are can be subjective, um, but it's often used to dismiss anything that uh, may be considered advancement when it comes to hairstyling practices or it's used to dismiss someone who's an expert such as a hairstylist or a dermatologist, it may be used to dismiss them giving information that has a good, good bit of credence to it when it comes to best practices for caring for our hair. I understand that. And my hope with sitting down with Precious was to uh, repurpose that phrase, do it works best for your hair, in a way that left you feeling, when you finished the video, and left both of us feeling empowered, warm inside, welcome, to discuss different types of hair care practices with each other in uh, the black hair space or and when I say black I mean all people of African descent whether you're hundred percent African or you're in the Caribbean or you're Latinx or whatever the case may be but I wanted us to leave that conversation me and Precious as well as viewers leaving like there is a means for us to discuss hair care with each other and we be on what appears to be totally different sides of the tracks when it comes to hair care Throughout the process of discussing hair care with Precious, it was important that I didn't psychoanalyze why Precious did things. I listened to what she shared with me about her hair care practices, what she wanted to share with me. I listened to the questions that she had and I asked questions with such a level of care because it is important for me, this is where my context and the scope of things comes up. It's important for me not only as an influencer, but as a researcher in the black hair space to be a listener, to be a listener. And I really, really learned as an influencer, as a researcher in the black hair space, that people find it very unbecoming to feel as though I am sharing information with them and they feel as if there's any judgment and they feel as if I'm saying something is wrong with their approach or anything like that. That's what I've learned. I've learned that instead it's best practice for me to talk things through with people. And if they have questions, they can ask me, excuse me. And if I have questions, I can ask them. And we know that we can circle back around to each other if we are more interested in each other's hair care practices. Excuse me. So that's what I'm learning as a researcher. Now it would be different if, I was an expert in specifically hair care. Now, if I was a hairstylist that had done so many heads of hair, specifically in the tight curly space, and I was seeing patterns of, of uh, abuse and, and damage with hair, and it was really, really concerning to me in my field of work, and I have a say-so in that area being an expert in such a way where I can advise people in a more general sense, then... I would be an expert online advising people in a general sense. That advisement from professionals that that have more than enough uh, credence in the area, that is not harsh judgment. That is not harsh critique, them providing that information. That's totally different from my position as an influencer and a researcher and a consumer. 
So um, I, my, my, I specialize, when I say I'm a researcher, I specialize in uh, black hair care experiences, learning about black hair care experiences. That's what I'm ca cataloging. That's what I'm working to understand. That's what I'm working to honor in my dissertation. And so I have to hold space, not only for my dissertation, but for respect for myself, being Nigerian, being African-American, I have to hold space for working to understand the different desires when it comes to hair care and hair throughout the African diaspora. So my angle is going to be quite different from a hair professional. I'm trying to, I'm trying to absorb information. I'm trying to learn. I'm, I'm trying to get people to talk to me and feel comfortable. It's totally different. It's totally different. And, and, and also it's very important. I mentioned uh, I didn't psychoanalyze pressures or anything like that. It's very important not to do that, not to do that. Because the thing about people, and this is not just with hair, the thing about people is you, you'll you never 100% understand another person <laughs> because we are so complex. So it's best for me to just operate off of what I see, what I hear. I ask that you all do that with me here on the channel ask questions if you don't understand something and any of the guests that I bring on the channel um, I just I understand it to be a way of showing respect and I also so I just want to address this to make things clear because oftentimes I do feel as though I'm walking on eggshells to make sure that I am not stepping on any professionals and I also want to make sure that I'm not stepping on any consumers in any way that people will find controversial and unpleasant that doesn't add to the mission, the ultimate mission, which is me cataloging, cataloging with honor and care uh, black hair experiences, the importance of what's going on with black hair, and then also that social justice piece uh, being a part of working against us seeing our hair through a lens that wasn't designed for us because we often view our hair as it needs to be straighter, smoother, silkier, looser, as opposed to seeing our hair for what it is and seeing it as worthy. Um, so I want to work against that lens. That's the social justice aspect. And the third piece is also I want to be a part of making different hairstyles of hair care that are popular among us, that we're happy with. Uh, making different styles of hair care, doing those styles, I want to make that more accessible to people throughout the uh, the the African diaspora. So that's the Afro hair care accessibility piece. I'm not here as an expert to tell you all I'm seeing this in my practice and it's concerning me. Um, so with the video with Precious, I don't want you all to watch the video and say, okay, so I'm gonna follow uh, Foe's hair care methods or I'm gonna follow Precious's hair care methods. That's not the purpose of the video. We're just talk we're talking about our experiences, our beliefs in a way that shows how we can sit down and have a cordial, warm conversation, being a part of the natural community and a part of the black hair community. If you're interested, I've and I'm understanding that the way YouTube works, uh, uh, it's not like a syllabus. It's not like you learned here, then you go there or I discuss here and then you go there. It's not like a syllabus. Um, so because of that, people might have missed some information. I am very firm on finding patterns and the means that I discuss the finding patterns are my videos on free hair care resources and my video on finding a hairstylist or working without one. So I will leave those two videos in a pinned comment below. I will leave those two videos in a pinned comment below. And the series is available in the description of this video. So the series is now available in the description of the video. So thanks for listening to me discuss the context. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed the, the series with fresh new eyes now. And I'm so grateful for all of you all as viewers. So once again, my name is Fo. Please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. 